What's going on everyone and welcome to the Rab My YouTube channel and I'm setting up three more CPU mining rigs. I got to the last one here and I figured, you know what, I may as well record this so I can show you guys how to quickly set this up and set your BIOS so everything's good to go. So a few things you are gonna need is one, you're going to need a power switch because if you do not have a power switch, it will not turn on. So as you can see, nothing is happening there. I hit the switch a few times, it's not turning on. So you're going to need a power switch for your very first boot up. You're gonna need a GPU. I'm just running this onto a riser, going into our time 16 slot. And then obviously you need a power supply for the 24 pin, the CPU pin, and a keyboard to smash that delete key to actually get into the BIOS. Now I like to build these in twos or threes, line them up like so, and then I can just, you know, do that one, do that one, do this one, done, go set them up, good to go. So now that we have everything we need here, I'm gonna fire this thing up, we'll get into the BIOS and show you exactly the settings you gotta do. So simply I'm gonna turn it on, hit our power switch here, bam, and we have power. Okay, so once you've been smashing that delete key and you did get into your BIOS, you will come up with a screen kind of like this, depending on your motherboard brand. Now, this one is an MSI, so you know, an ASUS may vary depending on the settings and stuff like that, and maybe be worded a little bit different. But again, this is MSI. So we're gonna hit F7 initially, go straight into our settings here, and then we're gonna start with system status. Now we do need to make sure our system date and time is correct. If it's off by too much, updating HiveOS or trying custom miners may actually fail on you. So you do gotta make sure your system date and time is correct. So right now I do see it is off by about a day or so. So it is the 10th, I'm gonna move it over one, or 10th month I mean. We're moving it down to the 27th, it did say 28th. And then I got to come down here and adjust the time a little bit. So we're on five in the morning. So it's 321 right now. So I got to put this at 15. Let's just move adjust this. So 15, 21. So this part here is pretty close, but whatever. We'll get it exact. Go 21. There we go. So our date and time is now correct. We can escape out of this. We're going to go down to advance. Now here we want integrated peripherals. Now VGA detection, this is where you will see it under different names, but here we want to ignore VGA detection. That means once you unplug that GPU later on, it won't look and try to detect it and it will you know, boot without it. Now sometimes, most of the time with auto, it will still work, but just hit ignore right off the get go. That way you don't have any issues later on. You gotta plug all this stuff back in. So once we're done with our VGA here, we're gonna come back out power management setup so we want restore after ac power loss now this is basic for any whether it's a gpu mining rig cpu mining rig whatever this just allows it to power on just by turning the power supply back on or off or you lose power or something like that it will auto restart and you no longer need that power switch anymore so now we're coming back we're leaving here back out we're going to go to our oc overclocks so we're coming down we're going to go to an all core overclock cpu ratio I'm gonna run 3.7 on this one, 3900X, so 3.7 at about 0.97 some volts will work. XMP profile, I do leave this disabled because uh, overclocking your RAM and everything does lead to very minimal hash rate gains for a lot more power gains. So it becomes less efficient and most of the CPU mining algorithms don't even benefit from up, uh, overclocking your RAM any further. So I always disable that and never use it. Now we're gonna scroll down to our actual CPU voltage. So this is what the power that we run on. So depending how you set this, this is where your efficiency comes into play. So I'm gonna run this at about 0.975. This does seem to be a nice, steady, stable voltage for me. Now, depending on silicon lottery, you may have to go up one so simply come back into here move it up one and then this may be stable for you and some rare cases cases you may have to go to a one volt or higher but again most of the time i find that 0 0.975 volts is nice and stable so once you're done with all that that is all the settings just simply hit f10 it'll save everything hit yes and wait for it to reboot again Keep smashing that delete key and just make sure everything did uh, save by itself. I like to double check everything. So I am back inside, everything does look good. I'm just gonna go in, make sure these settings are still correct. So our system, 
time 1500 yes advanced integrated peripherals we have the ignore vga here power management setup power on yes so everything does look like it has saved so we're all good so now we can hit exit a bunch of times and quit without saving because we didn't make any saving this time nothing changing going on here so now i'm just going to wait for it to boot it looks like it wants to go into hive os now i do not have ethernet plugged in at this point in time but everything looks like it's working as is so now simply shut it off and then we can make sure it boots on its own okay we are all set up so it is pretty fast once you get the hang of it and after you built a few rigs you know you can almost do it blindfolded so now we're just going to shut this off i'm going to unplug this power cable here we don't need this switch anymore and once it's done winding down quit spinning everything we're going to turn this on and make sure it actually turns on there we go so now you can see simply turn it off and on now works all by itself so everything looks good to go so i also want to touch on the ram a little bit as you can see all of these rigs only have one stick of ram in them and that is because when i talked about it earlier in the bios about overclocking your ram and majority of the algorithms don't really see any gain in overclocking it those same algorithms don't see any gain while running two, four sticks, whatever. The only gains that you see is usually an XMR as well as the Yes Script algorithms. Everything else, Ghost Rider, uh, Virus Coin, pretty much all the other coins, 80% of them don't benefit from the extra RAM. So you only need that single stick and it saves on power, it saves on overclocking, all sorts of other things going on at expenses on power level. So you only need that, but I do always make sure I have two sticks on hand for each rig so that if I ever do decide to solo mine XMR again or move to XMR or a yes script algorithm, I do have the other stick to put into these rigs to maximize that efficiency. But just for straight up building quick rigs, you only do need one stick. So if later on down the road, you do wanna to move to XMR, all you gotta do is buy the same sticks of RAM and then you can double them up. But if you wanna build some fast, quick, easy rigs, you only need that single stick of RAM for the majority of these algorithms. All right guys, so that pretty much sums this up. Just a quick video on CPU mining overclocking or I guess undervolting and underclocking on MSI motherboards for CPU mining. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.